Good evening. Good thank evening. you for thank you for carving the time out. I know uh, you're all busy and you've got a lot going on to take the time to be in this class. Uh, I really appreciate that. I appreciate you taking <coughs> the time with it. I'm I'm excited. I really enjoyed this afternoon with the, the fast class and spending that time and we we just had a lot of fun talking through the book together, discussing what's here and so I, I hope the same will be for us here uh, now as well. And then we're just going to jump in as soon as we can, uh, get into some of the content here. So let's pray. Father, we thank you this evening that we have this time together to look into your word. We're, we're going to spend this time talking about an eternal book that is perfectly true in every way. And we could, well, all the time, people are getting together and discussing, meeting, doing literary criticism of different books, and and any book that we could discuss together would have errors and problems and faults all throughout it. But we're going to talk about tonight a book that has no faults. We're going to talk about your word. And unfortunately, we bring to that uh, a great wealth of depravity carried around in our hearts. We bring to this a great wealth of blindness and misunderstanding of your word. Just because of who we are, we're sinners. And yet we are confident First, that your word is pristine, and second, that your spirit is powerful, and that you can help us to understand the truth, even where we are utter failures in that. And I ask your help. We're going to spend hours together here, talking over the next and the coming days, hours discussing this book. We need help. We need clarity. We need strengthening and enabling and illumination by your Holy Spirit. We cannot do this without your help. I pray that during the time we have to, to think about this book and to think about your word, that our hearts would burn within us, that your spirit would be honored, glorified by the time spent here, and that we would walk out of here more rejoicing, more thankful for everything that you are and that you've done for us and everything that this book tells us is true. And we ask your help with confidence because we know your son, because we know that you love us, and because we know that your spirit has already worked in our hearts. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Daniel, uh, Duncan asked me, I think it was almost a year ago maybe, uh, asked me to teach this class on this topic. Actually, he just said, any topics that you'd be interested in? I said, you know, what do you need taught? And they mentioned three or four, and Daniel that sounded exciting to me, and that's the one I chose. So the, for the past, uh, I think, four or five months, this has kind of been like a hobby for me. I mean, I just, I just enjoy it. It's the kind of thing you, you get done with the other things you need to do in the day. It's like, I want to go work on that. <laughs> and and uh, in my devotions, I've actually, because we're missionaries traveling around, we have a different meeting every week. Every, every Sunday, we're in a different church. And so I've preached on every chapter of the book, except for chapter 8, for whatever reason. I didn't get to chapter 8. Uh, but that was because it was coming in my devotions. I was loving it, and then I wanted to preach on it. So here we go. Go preach on it as well. And uh, that's, it's been a fun thing for me. I'm excited about sharing some of this with you all and uh, being able to share the time together. I hope, I hope maybe this class will open the book for you some more. I'm sure each one of you have already read and studied the book uh, to varying <coughs> extents. But if it could open it up a little bit more, make it more exciting for you, that would be, that would be great. That would be a very wonderful use of our time. Let me then uh, start out our time by showing you some information about the class itself. And you may have already got a syllabus. Um, it's on the web page, uh, but I will also pass these around. Actually, can I grab one from you there? Uh, show you a copy of or some, some of the ideas of what we're shooting for as we progress through the course. Uh, before I even get into that, right there at the top is my name my email, my phone number, and uh, our website as well. Okay, so my phone number does work up here. If, you, if it'd be a help, if you had any questions at any point, call me, text me, uh, whatever is convenient, uh, easiest for you, email. I'd, I'd love to hear from you during the week if you had a question, so feel free. Uh, it's not going to bother me in any way. And then also I've worked to try to put a lot of this information up online. Um, so let me just show you, because this is one of the things I do want make sure you're able to see uh, because this information is here as a resource for you. The, the web page or the URL is there, everytribeandtongue.com. And then go over to this side and, yes, it's there. Uh, if you click Daniel, 
this is at the front page of it is just something I put up here. It includes the video. I think some of you have already seen that. Um, but what you're really looking for is this link right here. Download the materials, the resources. Or actually, you can go right here. If you mouse over Daniel, you can hit it and go to the same place. And uh, I've put up most of the documents that we'll have involved. Um, you can buy the course textbook here. That's just going to link out to Amazon. But whatever is easiest for you or most convenient or cheapest and so forth. Um, and also here you can get the syllabus, which you have, and that's also on the, the college page. Right here, this is the main document that I want to make sure you're aware of. So if you hit this, uh, it's going to bring up a, a button to be able to download, and you download that document. Uh, what you're looking at, actually it's already open here anyway, uh, is a, the document that I've, I, I've tried to create basically as a resource for you. So my thought is, we have limited time, uh, we can't go through everything, we, we can only go through so much, but what if I can put it into a document? Well, you know, it's like two megabytes or something, you put on your hard drive somewhere, and if somewhere way out in the future you wanted to do some additional study, you have it, it's there for you. Uh, let me show you just a little bit, introduce you a little bit into what's here. Uh, I did make a note here, this is a work in progress, and so I'm, this week I'm going to continue to add more stuff to it. And you might then want to re-download it at the end of the week, or I would be happy to email you. Uh, but it's going to be, when I make changes, it's automatically updated on the website. So if you download later on in the week, you should get the updated version. Uh, here's what, what's in the document. Okay, first thing is just a translation and exegesis of Daniel. I felt like, okay, I'm going to teach this class, we're going to take that time. Uh, well, I, I wanted to have translated it from the original Hebrew and Aramaic just partly for myself, for a sense of understanding with it. Uh, the translation there, you know, it's nothing great at all. Um, it's really rough, actually, and that was kind of my goal. What I did is I translated, if you want to say literally or you know, just roughly, I just took the Hebrew words there and I just represented them in English. So it's not pretty, it's not, it doesn't flow real nice and smoothly like one of, you know, a production translation would, that's something that's sold in bookstores. But uh, the goal is just to, to literally represent the original Hebrew and Aramaic. And so if that's a help, great. Uh, you can click on any of these on the numbers, and it'll take you right to that chapter. So I'm going to click on chapter 1. And uh, what you're going to see here, this is just the text. That's just you know the verses of the book of Daniel. But I footnoted underneath. Now, the footnotes are real small, uh, so it's not the easiest thing to read. You can put your mouse over the footnotes, and they'll break up a window, and you can read them that way. If anybody has trouble, by the way, uh, if you don't have Microsoft Word, I can send you a PDF as well. That you don't have to have any software to open this. But if you have Word, it's a little easier to use it within Word. Um, so these notes underneath here are just telling you information about what's on top. I mean, let's just look at an example. So here, in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim. Well, I don't know about you, but off the top of my head, I don't remember when Jehoiakim lived. I don't remember much about his life. I don't know the date and what the third year of Jehoiakim was. So if you click that note uh, and you come down, you find out, okay, that's the year 605. It gives you a little bit of the history of what was going on in 605 and why that's significant. Okay, it's just things like that. My idea would be uh, two years from now, you think, you know, Daniel, I, I want to do some study. And you get to Daniel chapter 11 and you get into some really difficult to interpret things. You're not sure what's going on there. Well, maybe you could open this up you could go to Daniel chapter 11, and the notes there, kind of like a study Bible, would just help walk through what's going on in Daniel chapter 11. Okay, just as a resource, something you have. And we're going to actually use this as kind of the main document for our class here as well. Uh, so I'll be actually teaching from that document. All right, so you have a translation of each chapter of the book. Uh, following that, I introduced or I included a couple of other things. Uh, we'll be talking from some of this, but introduction to Daniel, that's just date, author, genre, uh, structure, purpose, theme. You know, just basic information about how the book is arranged and who wrote it and when he wrote it and things like that. Uh, following that, I have a section on the theology of Daniel, and we're, we're going to talk about, I'll explain what I mean by the theology of Daniel. We'll see a little bit of that further on. Uh, excursi is just the plural of excursus, uh, and it just means kind of like appendix, extra stuff. Uh, so these are just different things that I, I was studying out that relate to the book. Who is Darius the Mede? There's a lot of discussion about that uh, because in archaeology they're not sure who Darius is. And so I surveyed the different theories and ideas about that and gave my perspective. 
uh, some information about the Antichrist. I just gathered information from the whole Bible about Antichrist, but it, it's in Daniel, so I thought that related. And then some information about prophetic years that relates to a specific thing going on in chapter 9. So just some, some thoughts like that. Okay, Basically then, we're looking at different information that relates to the book of Daniel that's in a document for you to download to use as a resource. That's what we're talking about there. Any questions as far as that goes? Any uh, thing that comes to your mind, anybody who says, oh, yeah, I need the PDF, I don't have Word or, or something like that. Either this could be go on then for stuff that relates to all of us. Uh, we're just going to keep on going down here. Course description, that's there clear enough, I think. The textbook, um, here's what I'm going to say about this. It's not a perfect textbook. No book is. No such thing as a perfect textbook. Um, and actually, ironically, when it comes to Daniel, there are not a lot of choices that are pre-mill, um, Millennial, which is uh, I think my view, and I think the church's view of eschatology, what you know, what's going to happen in the end times. So uh, most of the works that are out there would be what's called a mill or post mill, and have other ideas of the end times that I don't feel are, are a, a, a good option. Uh, so the ones that I have up here, these two are pretty much the main main options that are available that exist as a commentary on Daniel. This one's good. It's very good. I just thought this one was just a tiny bit better. So uh, I would say if you're interested, uh, you could actually buy both of them. They're about $30 each. Um, but I'm going to say if you can only pick one, this is probably the one to have. And I recommend it just as a resource to have. I mean, it's the kind of thing, again, it's a finite work by a man, and he's a sinner. <laughs> but um, but you, it's the kind of thing where, if you, again, you in the future said, I don't understand what's going on here. Well, you can open this up, and he's going to give you at least some help to be able to work through that. And um, I think it'll be a resource for you. So maybe a thing that you could invest in if you have the opportunity. Uh, learning objectives. There are five things I'm shooting for. Number one, I really want, uh, and this is going to go outside just the book of Daniel, I want us to understand the exegetical process from translation to practical application. Obviously, we're not going to talk about translation in this class, but I, I would like us, when we finish this, this class, not just that you have a handle on the book of Daniel, but do you have a better understanding of how to study the Bible, okay, just on the, every level, just in your personal devotions, that you would say, you know, as a result of studying this, now I can take these same tools, turn around and do that with Isaiah. I can turn around and do that with the you know, book of 1 John, that the same process could be applied to lots of other books, not just the book of Daniel. I'd love, for, uh, number two, for you to have a solid grasp of the chapter content of Daniel, and for the guys who are taking for credit, that'll be on in test later on. Uh, to be able to explain the challenging passages in Daniel, uh, we will at least, we'll talk through those passages, some of the ones that are kind of controversial or that are difficult to, to understand. And so I love when we get done that you don't feel intimidated by some of these, these hard passages that will lay, are later in the book. And I'll totally concede they're intimidating. In fact, uh, Pastor Bud said to me this afternoon, yeah, I've always felt a little scared of Daniel. The first part's easy, the second part's hard. That's true. Um, and so I'd love for you to be at a point where we're done and say, ah, I feel I'm not comfortable, I, but I, I feel like I can read and understand the whole book. I can enjoy it all there because it's all there for our instruction. Uh, and if it would help to solve some of those things or understand some of them, it's great. Uh, number four, to be able to articulate a biblical theology of Daniel. We'll talk about that. I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. And then to be able to draw devotional and practical lessons from the book, have a sense of what this means and the significance of it and so forth. Uh, you will be asked, the credit guys, to read through the book at least ten times. Um, I would say for everyone, I think if, if you could get the time to read through the book one time, a couple of times, you know, as many times as you can, really, that's going to be great. The more times you read through it, the better off you'll be. Uh, it might surprise you, but you can read through the book of Daniel in not that long. Okay? I mean, if you could find some time in your day, sit down for you know, anywhere from maybe a half hour to an hour, you could read through the book. Uh, it could be done. Even, I don't know if some of you guys have an audio Bible. I've listened to the audio Bible. I'll put it on double speed. And <laughs> I'll listen to it while I'm driving, and I will fly through portions of Scripture. It's really fun. I mean, it's it's amazing how much ground you can cover. You have to get used to listening to it on double speed. You get where you can, you know. And, um, it's a fun thing to do. It's just a great way to do it if you want. I encourage you guys, uh, if you can, and if you're comfortable, this is your choice, really. I don't want to at all, uh, if, any, if, if this is your conscience, I don't want to bother that at all. Um, but it's good sometimes to vary 
not only the way you read it, but even the translation you read it. So do it in several different translations, and it'll give you a little introduction to some of what's going on there. Uh, I love, this is one of my favorite ways to do it. I have a Bible that I bought. I bought it for, I think, just $5. I uh, just found, you know, one of these award Bibles that they give out to kids if they, you know, reach a certain prize level or something. I bought one of those, and I'll sit down and I'll read it. I have a pen in my hand, and I'll just mark things up all over the place because I paid $5 for it. I don't feel like I can be real careful. don't want to make a mistake. Just underline, circle. I'm just, just having fun. And to me, that helps me engage with the Bible in a different way. I mean, it really helps me be active and and I feel like I'm, I'm having a part in what's going on here as I'm reading. It keeps my mind focused. I've done that. I've read while I listen. Okay, read, read and listen at the same time. I had a teacher, uh, and he encouraged us. This was with the book of Job. Get together with friends and uh, do it like a play. Okay, so you're assigned to be Job, and you know, you're know you assigned to be uh, any time that this friend, Job has these three friends, your friend one, your friend two, your friend three. Somebody has to be Satan. Uh, somebody has to be Job's wife. So it, each person has a part, somebody has to be the narrator. And so then we sat down in a circle and we read the whole book of Job. I mean, in that, Job's a long book. It took us, I think, two hours to do it. But it was fun uh, because what a different way to do it. You know, each person has a part to play in this thing. So if somebody felt like it, that could be a way to do it. You could get together with some friends and say, okay, chapter one, what characters do you, okay, you be Ashkenaz, you be uh, Daniel, you, so forth, go around and, and you could read through the book. Hey, it's just a fun way to do it. All I'm saying is there are lots of ways to read the Bible, lots of ways. And I think the more ways that we engage with the text, the, with the text of Scripture, the better off we're going to be. I, mean, I really encourage mm -hmm. that. I think it's a great way to do it. Annotated notes. Okay, let me show you one of the materials I put up on the website. This would be something that would be great, I think, for everybody if you could. So I've taken uh, the book of Daniel. I've got it in four different translations here. I've taken the book of Daniel, and um, I know here at the church you use the New King James. Let's open that. Let's see what we get. I, I've got it in double space format with a wide margin around the outside. Okay, here's my idea. What if you're sitting in class and we're talking through different things, and as I'm telling you things about the book, you think, you know, I've never thought of that before. Okay, now you could write that down in your notes, and in your notes it would probably some it would probably go on a bookshelf somewhere. You know, I mean, that's just the way it is. It's a little hard to work with it that way. It could go in your Bible. I think that's great if that works for you. But another way to do it, if you print this a copy of Daniel, my idea would be, hey, bring this into class, and if I say something about verse 3 that you'd like to remember, you write it right in the margin, right there next to verse 3. The end of the class, you have a copy of the book with your notes, and, and I would highly encourage, just like I said with my $5 Bible, don't at all be, you know, oh, I can't make a mistake. Let me underline this with a ruler and get it just right. Just just write stuff. I mean, it's a piece of paper. Just write on it and, and fill it out. If you have a thing, thought and you think that's great, write it down. Maybe it'll be wrong. You can cross it out later. If you like something, underline it. Circle it, okay? And, and I would love, especially for you two guys, but for everybody, when we get to the end of the class, that you have a heavy, heavily annotated document, the book of Daniel, that has all kinds of markings on it. You do that in class. It's not an outside class assignment necessarily, but something that you can really, you can just put all kinds of information down on. Again, all I'm trying to do here is help us engage with the text. I just, I want us to get involved with it. I, I want us to move from uh, the struggle that we all have, which is just, okay, to be passive. I open my Bible, I read, to say, hey, I'm active. I'm, I'm going to be part of this working here, writing things down, underlining, circling, that we're part of engaging with the text. And I think that helps us understand the text the more that we're active working with it. Okay, and then one other thing that's here on the page, I did put four resources that are free online. First guy's a liberal. It just is. I wouldn't ever pay money for that. Uh, it's, you know, it's maybe worth the 20 megs that'll be on your hard drive, and that's about it. Um, every once in a while, liberals get lucky and they say something true. So, you know, that makes sense. who knows? But I'd say if you never download it, you're not really going to lose anything. I just, it's free. I put it there. Uh, this second guy, this is an older work, Robert Anderson. He's writing on just Daniel 70, 70 weeks, okay, Daniel chapter 9. So it's a whole book just on those three verses. Um, and it's kind of a classic in the field. Uh, it's a little outdated now just because there's been more work that's been done since then. But it's, it's free, you know. I mean, what, what, can, you, what can you say to free? Um, this third is really good. This guy 
goes through some very specific issues, problems of Daniel doesn't mean problems with Daniel, it just means you know, things that are difficult to understand, and he works through those and gives really good answers, it really helps understanding. So I would encourage that one, it's probably one of the best ones. This last one's a journal article. These, these last two, um, they're good, and they're, I, you may, maybe uh, if you really are interested in getting into things a lot, those two would be a helpful. Uh, otherwise, I'd say if you put some of your time into this document, the, the translation document, and even reading through the book of Daniel, you'd be helped just as much or actually far more. So they're just here. It's just, it's free, might as well. <laughs> if you'd want to download it, you can. Um, I can, uh, right here, I put a contact form. That's again for you. I went, if you had a question about anything, anything at all, I mean, you're just reading the book and you thought, what's this verse about? What's this mean? Email me through this. You have your, my email on here, or you can fill out the form on here. You can text me or call me or whatever. I'd love to hear from you that way. So uh, those are just, just want you to know that those things are available.